Hey, this is Enoch, and this is a quick message for the Million Dollar Mastermind Coaching members. It is Monday morning, and I'm here at the post office. I got like 10 minutes before it's open, so I'm just, I thought I'd record this quick video with you. First of all, don't you love the Art Deco? I love these old post offices, their Art Deco architecture. Uh, this is an old post office. I don't know when this one was built. Probably in the, in the 20s. Thank you. But uh, you can see here, like, the doors got this kind of cool art deco look to it and then out here in front I love the uh, the brickwork on it around the windows the terracotta fantastic building right so I'm just gonna sit here for a second look look at these lamps look at those cool I mean those are just fantastic absolutely fantastic so uh, I was just just thinking about you and I wanted to record this quick little store for you and I'm, I'm gonna relate this through a story so once upon a time uh, there was a farmer and every day the farmer went out to uh, work on his field but when he first inherited the farm it was all rocky and there was forest and so this this kind of goes back to the early settlers here of the United States you know when they were going out to the frontier you know they would homestead these plots of land and the land was it was rocky there were trees on it uh, it wasn't very it wasn't very developed so first thing they had to do is they had to, to clear-cut the land well nowadays we know that that may not be that good of an idea but they didn't know so they just chopped down all the trees and then they had to go out there with their oxen or their horses and they had to remove these large boulders they had to get rid of all the stones uh, recently we were on a camping trip going uh, down Santa Barbara one of the uh, actually it was one of the Channel Islands and if you go out there they use those islands to graze cattle and so as you're as you're hiking along the island you'll see these piles of stones everywhere and I mean they're they're like very very large piles they look like almost like little altars of rocks and so I was asking why that is the ranger told me that because they graze cattle there they actually went and they collected all of the rocks and put them in these piles which seems like an enormous amount of work and of course they don't they don't graze there anymore because it's a it's a national conservatory so let's go back to our story about the early settlers you know the reason why they went out west is because of opportunity because they couldn't find that opportunity in the city they wanted to build a life for themselves and for their families and they they thought you know what if I can just get some some land with my own hands I can carve out a future for myself and my family and so they did all this work and they went down and and you know perhaps the first season they planted their harvest in and it was very meager and they were really struggling to get by and the ground wasn't that fertile so they had to plow in the weeds perhaps they used they might have used some cow manure to plow that in to fertilize the ground and then they planted the seeds well this particular farmer he had a, a five-year-old son and the five-year-old son was helping him and he said daddy how can we go out every single day and we put these little seeds in the ground you know why do we do all this work because I'm looking and days have gone by days have gone by and nothing's happened and the father said you know have faith don't worry the harvest will come and we will be rewarded with bounty so the next day the son goes out and he's looking at the field and there's like kind of the vapor rising off of the ground in the morning and he says daddy I don't see anything growing you know I've looked at where the seeds are and it's still it's just dirt there's nothing are you sure we're gonna get some plants and the father says you know have patience my son eventually this will this whole field will be full of wheat and we'll be able to um, to turn into flour and have bread and be able to sell it for money. So the son says, okay. He does that every single day, and of course it's the same story. Well, finally, a couple weeks later, the son goes out there, little boy, and he looks down at the ground, and he sees this little tiny sprout coming out of the ground. And so he runs back into the house and says, Daddy, Daddy, I see there's something growing. And so Dad comes out and looks at it and says, Sure enough, son, like I said, these are the little sprouts of wheat. So, you know, because the wheat is fast growing, within a week, it's up to their knees and the son is just like this is amazing of course harvest happens they're able to harvest the wheat and they're able to uh, to take the flour you know make the flour take it down to the mill get it get a flour turn it into bread and then they're sitting down after the harvest time with some a wonderful feast of potatoes meat warm freshly cooked bread and the uh, and the little son looks up at his daddy and says daddy I understand he says it was totally worth it right so as entrepreneurs and as business owners um, especially if in the million dollar mastermind coaching group it may seem like you're doing a whole lot of work and not getting the results you want okay as humans just naturally we have a hard time 
understanding the concept of the future. I mean, that's not the way our brains work. We live in the present, we perceive in the present, our eyes see what's happening right now. And so, as you go through these things of setting up your marketing system and testing out different things, sure, not everything is going to work. But once again, what you're doing, you're delaying the groundwork for the future. And your future is bright and your future is abundant, but you have to be able to do that groundwork now and not give up. So that is the key. The key is uh, that I want to share with you in this message is that in the future, if you could see the bountiful harvest uh, that you're going to be able to, to earn, then you would you know, throw in with all of your might to be able to uh, right now do the effort and do the things required to be able to get that harvest. So just remember that, you know, in the coaching program, you're going through it, it feels like, you know, you're sending out newsletters, you're doing things, you're not getting a lot of results. Um, you are getting results. What you're doing is you're working strategically and you're planting seeds that will blossom in the future. The key is if you don't plant the seeds now, then you'll never, ever, ever, ever get the harvest. So keep on planting the seeds, get out there. I want you to win the next transformation contest. And as always, have hope and get out there and conquer the world. You have an amazing message and people need to hear it. Hey, so I'm back home here and there's an important takeaway that I wanted to add that I left out of the last video that I shot at the post office. And that is there are some unseen things that are happening right now in your life and I want you to be aware of them. So if you think about the, the example of the farmer, when he did all that work to cut down the trees, when he did all that work uh, to remove the rocks and the stones, when he did all that work to make the ground fertile, he wasn't seeing the end result of his labor right away, but what he had was a very, very powerful and important asset. So sometimes, you know, as, as, as one of the members of our highest level coaching group, you may wonder, why am I not getting results more quickly? Um, you know, why, why am I not winning more projects? And, you know, all that stuff will come in time. But that's not the number one reason, the most important reason to be in the Million Dollar Mastermind Coaching Group. Um, because someone can always take away your money. You can always lose project opportunities. Uh, you know, who knows what could happen in the future. But the one thing that no one can ever take away from you are the skills the knowledge and the abilities that you acquire. So going through the Million Dollar Mastermind Coaching Program, you are laying the foundation, you're plowing that field, you're making that ground fertile, and no one ever, ever in the future will ever be able to take that away from you. So just remember that, that you are building yourself a substantially abundant future. You're acquiring skills and techniques and knowledge that is gonna help you in your future life to be more, uh, more prosperous, more wealthy, and more successful. So just remember that growth is, you know, although a lot of times we like to see monetary reward right away for what we're doing, you know, really in the long term when we think about it, growth is the more important thing. So just make sure you're doing both. Make sure you're getting out there implementing and growing and learning. And the only way you're going to grow and learn is by, you know, scheduling those coaching calls with Richard, uh, reaching out to me if you want to schedule a coaching call with me, and then implementing the things that you're learning with our help. All right. Carpe diem.